Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker navy bean and bacon soup. Alright, I'm starting out here in my six quart pressure cooker. And I have a pound of uncooked navy beans. And I'm going to add in just enough water. I washed these and uh, picked out the bad beans. I'm going to put just enough water in to cover over the beans by about an inch. Alright, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. Because when you do beans in a pressure cooker, you want a little bit of oil just in case if they uh, create starch. It doesn't make a mess in your pressure cooker. All right now, I'm going to seal this up. Make sure it's set on there tight. And I'm going to set this for five minutes. And then I'm going to let this uh, naturally release on its own. And when that's done, I'll be back. All right, my five minutes are up. My beans naturally released. I'm going to get these out of here and drain them and set them aside for just now. All right, now that I have my beans out set aside, I took a piece of paper towel and dried out my pot, got all the water out, and I've set this on a saute brown setting. And if your pressure cooker doesn't have that setting, just go ahead and leave the lid off and put it on high pressure. I have ten pieces of sliced bacon here that I cut into small pieces. I'm going to put this in here and brown it up, and then when this is browned, I'll be back. All right, my bacon's ready. You want to fry it just until it starts to get crispy. I'm going to pull this out of here and set this aside for a minute also. And you want to leave that bacon grease in there. Because I'm going to throw my vegetables in the next. We're going to use that to saute the vegetables. Okay, now that I have my bacon pulled out, I still have this set on a saute brown setting. I have one onion, two carrots, and two uh, sprigs or two pieces of celery here that I finally diced up. I'm going to put them in here and saute them in that bacon grease. And you want to saute these until your onions start to turn translucent. And I'm also going to add in here a teaspoon of ground thyme. And I'm just going to eyeball this. Alright. And a half a teaspoon of smoky paprika. And this is important. Make sure you get the smoky kind because this really contributes to your uh, soup. All right. I'm going to continue sauteing this until, like I said, those onions turn translucent. All right, now that my onions are translucent and my celery and carrots are starting to soften up, I'm going to go ahead and add my bacon back into the pot. And I'm going to add my beans back in here. Place it on standby. And I'm going to add in eight cups of chicken broth because you stock. And I don't know if you guys see my little trick. I cut a hole in the top of the box so this doesn't chug out of here. It pours out smoothly. So let me get them in there. Sounds like my dog Abby wants to be part of the show. And I'm keeping an eye on my full line on this. My full line's right here, so I'm looking good. All right. Now I have a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes. These are just the plain ones. These don't have the seasoning in them. I'm going to dump them in juice and all. And I'm going to add in a tablespoon of tomato paste. And not to worry, this can of tomato paste won't go to waste because I'm going to use it later on in the week in another video. Put that down in there. All right. I'm going to add some pepper to this. About a quarter of a teaspoon. This is just a taste. And a little bit of salt. About a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, let me give that a stir. Get everything all mixed together. Now I'm going to put my lid back on here. Get my garbage out of the way. Seal this up. Make sure it's set on airtight. Alright, now I'm going to set this for 15 minutes. 
on high pressure. And this pressure cooker sounds like it's underwater, but that's the way it is. I'm going to bring that up to pressure, cook it for the 15 minutes, and when it's done, I'll release the pressure uh, manually, quick release, and then I'll be back. All right, my 15 minutes are up, and I actually have to naturally release because I went up and grabbed the shower. Now I'm going to go in here with a plastic potato masher and mash just a few of my beans up in here, not all of them. And you want to be sure to use a plastic masher if you're going to do this in a non-stick pressure cooker pot. You don't want to scratch it. All right, now I have these mashed up, and I'm only doing some of them. Let's go ahead and fix a bowl and uh, see what we got. Real quick, I'd like to give a shout-out to my son, Eric's friend, Koi Fisha. I now like to finish this off by topping with some of those homemade croutons Melissa made and sent to us. So there you have it. Pressure cooker, navy bean, and bacon soup. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see ya.